everyone, Colleen here again from the Traverse Area District Library to give you guys another video of this week's craft kits. This week we are doing the Grow Your Own Rock Candy Craft. So, you can pick these up at the Woodmere Branch if you want to come partake in our craft. In the bag, we have a food coloring flavoring mix, as you can tell, I had fun with the food coloring. A mason jar. A very full bag of sugar. A clothespin. And a rock candy stick. So, the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to want to wash and dry your jar just to make sure we're all clean and sanitary and ready to go. The next step is to take your jar and to fill it with water, like so, and then take your rock candy stick and just let it soak in there. A um, few minutes, half an hour, just so it's wet and ready to go. After you've done that, and mine has been soaking for a little while, you need to take your stick and then Place it in your sugar. Kind of roll it around in there. So this is called seeding, and this is the beginning of your sugar crystals that you will need for your rock candy kit. So I just kind of thunk it in, roll it around a couple times, and when you're done, you've got some sugar crystals on there. Um, if you don't feel like there's enough, which there's not a ton on mine actually, you might consider wetting it again quickly and getting a little more water on it so that you get a little more that looks much better a little more sugar on there then you need to take this and leave it on a plate until it's completely dry while that's drying you need to take your jar and measure out your water so on this jar there is a 300 milliliter mark and on this side there is a one this is one and a half the one right below it is one and a quarter so that's where it needs to be filled to that's how much uh, supplies you have for your kit so fill it to that line and then on a stove with a small pot you need to bring that water to a boil um, once the water is boiling you need to add your sugar a little bit at a time until it dissolves the goal is to get all of this big bag of sugar in there. Don't worry, you're not eating all of this. A lot of it doesn't end up in your candy, but it gives it a lot to work with. Um, so yes, the goal is to get all of this sugar dissolved. However, if you're adding it a little at a time and it's just not dissolving anymore, that's okay. You need to get as much as you possibly can because the more sugar, the better crystals. But if you can't get it all, that's okay too. We just gave you plenty. All right, after that is all done. You want to let it cool for about 20-30 minutes just so you can handle it without burning yourself. Um, add that back into your jar and then this would be the point where you would add your flavoring slash food coloring. Um, this stuff stains. It stains. So work very carefully. If you've got some gloves that might not be a terrible idea. Uh, but add it to your water and sugar mixture and stir it all up. Then you need to take your rock candy stick and your clip. Not this hole, but that hole. To open it up and thread it through the hole until it kind of nestles in there. Like so. Uh, about half an inch from the end is probably going to be about right for you but you've got it going through the, t the clothespin with the stick coming down. Then, we're gonna hypothetically say this is a sugar water mixture. You would put this into your jar so that the stick is not touching the bottom and it's not touching the sides, kind of balancing on top there. If you need to adjust the height a little bit, you want as much in the water as you can, but you don't want it touching the bottom because that's gonna stop your crystals from growing. So, you put this in your sugar water and 
flavor and color mix, not just plain water, but that's what I have today. And then let it set for a few days, even a week. Um, and then the crystals will start to grow and develop. I'm going to check back with you guys because I'm going to make mine at home and let it crystallize and see where we get to. But yeah, you should have some nice rock candy, hopefully. Keep checking it. When you're ready to pull it out and be done, you just take it out of the water and enjoy. It should be a nice blue tutti fruity rock candy for you. I will definitely check back in with you guys and let you know how it's looking. And hopefully you guys enjoy and have a nice treat and have fun. Thanks guys. Alright, it's been about five days on our rock candy. Put it in Wednesday night and it is now Monday morning. So let's check and see how it's going. Yeah, look at that. Lots of crystals. You can tell on the glass that there are lots of crystals in there too. So let's see. Let's tip this off. You want to taste it? Nope, taste it. Put it in your mouth. Whoa. How is it? Blue. It's blue? You want to try it? I think it's too sour for her. No, it's not sour. You want to try? How is it? Is it good? It's kid approved. What do you think? Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Crystal.